Meanwhile, Israel has claimed responsibility for gunfire on the vehicle of the UN World Food Programme, blaming a communication error between its military units. The food agency has suspended movement of its employees across Gaza until further notice, calling the incident totally unacceptable. USA's deputy ambassador to the United Nations while addressing the Security Council meeting on Gaza said, Israel must not only take ownership for its mistakes, but also take concrete actions to ensure that IDF does not fire on UN personnel again. According to the Palestinian Health Ministry, over 30 were killed in Israeli attacks in the last 24 hours as violence rages in Gaza. The World Health Organization said Israel has agreed to at least three days of humanitarian pauses in parts of the Strip starting on Sunday in a bid to facilitate a polio vaccination. However, in the occupied West Bank, Israeli forces continue with their raids. 16 Palestinians have been killed since Wednesday, as per the Israeli military. Meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu continues to face the heat for Hamas's October 7th attack. Opposition leader Yair Lapid said that Netanyahu looked bored and indifferent when his military advisor briefed him on threats to Israel's security during a joint security briefing in August 2023. In the latest, an Israeli intelligence officer in the Gaza division has stepped down over failure to prevent the attack. 